What's going on YouTube, Jeans here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, bringing you guys a ranked regulation F team that features Ambipom. Now Ambipom is from generation 4 and is such a cool Pokemon. We're pairing it up with a few meta Pokemon, making it more of a support Pokemon to pair up with Archiludon. Ambipom has Fake Out, it's got Triple Axel to deal with the Landorses, and it also has Beat Up to kind of boost Archiludon's defense really, really quickly. If we want to lead both those Pokemon, I can go Beat Up with Ambipom into Archiludon, go plus 4 in defense, and then be an absolute bulk, and at the same time, do big time damage with Body Press. The super cool combo, cannot wait to showcase Ambipom in Ranked Regulation F. Now the ability and item for Ambipom is going to be Technician and the Focus Sash, and the last move that I forgot to mention is going to be Helping Hand. Because like I mentioned, this Pokemon's more of a support Pokemon, he can go in Helping Hand, he can go in the Fake Outs, he can beat up for Defense Bulks, all that good stuff. Cannot wait to use it. But Archiludon, like we already mentioned, is another Pokemon on today's team with fairly normal setup, moveset, all that good stuff. Stamina, Assault Vest, Flash Cannon, Trick Meteor, Body Press, Electro Shot. You guys seen it plenty of times, it works so well on the Ranked Ladder. Two of our support mods, we got Tornadus, nice little Speed Control and Weather Control, and on top of that, we have Sinistra. HP Recovery, Rage Powder, all that good stuff. Final two Pokemon, gonna be Urshifu to pair up with the Rain Squad, and last but not least, Incineroar, because it's just so good in rank regulation F. Guys, you wanna rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's get started here, showcasing Ambipom in regulation F. Match number one on its way, and we're going up against an Alolan Golem squad. So these things are known to just explode, and it has an ability that allows explosion to become a electric type. So they can pair it up next to Ursaluna and take no damage from that. So that's something that we definitely have to watch out for. Explosion on the golem. But from here, I think we could definitely just go with like our fake out monkey alongside with Archaluda. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. Ambipom, Arch Ludon, maybe bring Tornadus in the back end. Or I could just go Urshifu alongside with maybe Tornadus or Incineroar. We have a lot of different options. Can I pop Trick Room? Can I taunt with this? No. Can I taunt with this? No. Okay, so we have no way of countering Trick Room. So maybe we might just want to go into Incineroar and uh, get after it with a Fake Out lead. We can have two Fake Out users here, and that's something I kind of like. That is something I kind of like. We go Arch Ludon, we go Amy Palm, and then we kind of get one out from there. Yeah, that's something I like. So I'm going to actually end up leading these Pokemon, and we're going to see how this one plays out. We're going to see. So they can intimidate me if they want to, and fake out me with their Incineroar, but I'm pretty sure my Amy Palm outspeeds, so I can fake him out before he even fakes me out, which wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad, but I would love to just like not fake out here and go for a beat up and start getting after it. But they're going to end up leading these two. So they can spore me. That's something we don't like. And they're probably going to try to pop a trick room at that point. So from here, to be honest, I'm just going to go for a beat up here. And I could Terrasize, but I'd rather save my Terra. I'm just going to go for a body press. Or maybe just like a flash cannon or something. I'll just go body press into Frigoraph. Which wouldn't be a bad call. Could go for Rage Powder. Mm, trick room's a problem. Trick room is a problem. We can't fake out. We simply cannot fake out. Spore is going to be a problem. Spore is totally a problem. So we'll see how this one plays out. They're just going to end up Rage Powdering, which is totally fine. Beat Up is actually just going to go away here. It kind of sucks, because now we don't get all this Body Press boost, and they're just going to get off a free trip. So, Ambipom Beat Up combo, not working out so hot here in Match Mode. So with the Pokemon that they have out on the field, they could just go for a, uh, what do you got here? An Eject Button. You're going to bring out Ursa Luna here, correct? This is definitely an Ursula McCall. No doubt in my mind this is an Ursula McCall. Yep, they're going to go right into Ursula. So Ursula comes out here, and we're going to be able to go for a body press into the Frigga Raft, doing about negative 5 damage. So nothing big is happening here. They kind of get a nice big time advantage, big time play in match number Then I have Trick Room up and Guts Triggers right away because they eject by now. Smart play by them. Definitely smart play. But now from here, I can't fake out. I could go into beat up still. I have a feeling they're probably most likely going for... I could actually hard swap into maybe like Incineroar. Just to get fake out back. But I think I'd rather just try to go for beat up here. And terrestrialize this guy at the same time. And then go after this Ursaluna. I'm all about it. So I end up withdrawing the Frigograph. Probably going into... Back into the uh, Amoogus, right? 
Yeah, and then they might be protecting the, the Ursula. That's definitely an option. But if they protect Ursula, I'm still gonna go gonna be plus four on defense. It's gonna help us out tremendously. Plus some Terrasalize, and just so we're not weak to that ground typing, we can really start getting after it. So right now the name of the game is just wasting out triple turns. And then going from there. But he's just gonna pop an EQ, no problem, which is totally fine. Totally fine, because he does some nice damage to his uh Amoongus. And from here, I'm going to hang on with my stamina boost. And body press is going to come out here and do some nice damage. Not bad damage coming out from there. Beat up is going to come out here, and we're just going to bulk our defense up. So now the little bit of a problem that we do have is going to be Amoongus, right? Amoongus can just spore me in one turn, no problem, and start getting after it that way. But I don't see Ursula kill me in one turn. So I got my defense boost. I'm now a threat. I'm now a big time threat. I'm plus five on the fence. This is huge, which is huge. The plus five defense boost, we love it. Ursuline is going to take some burn damage. And from here, we can see how many turns are left in Shirk Room. Three. Three turns are left in Shirk Room. I'm now just going to go for, I guess, a triple axle into somebody. Probably you. And then just keep body pressing across the board, right? Yeah, I mean, they could pop an EQ. They could pop a Rage Rider. They could Spore here as well, and that's exactly what they're going to do. A little bit of Spore. I wish I had Protect on my Archer Luron. His Spore's going to come out here, and they're probably going to EQ on top of that. Is that a correct statement? No, they're just going to Facade and take out the Ambi Pomp. So Ambi Pomp's are gone. Ambi Pomp's are gone. And I'm hoping Archer Luron can have a one-turn sleep, and everything will work out perfect. Because now I'm going to be able to bring out... Do I go Incineroar here? And just pop a fake out, or do I go in with like Urshifu with Aqua Jet? Aqua Jet might be able to KO, which would be huge. I think I'd rather save my Incineroar, right? Or I could just use the Intimidate here and just fake out the Ursaluna. Yeah, that'd probably be a better option for me. I have safety goggles, so they can't put me to sleep. I'm really cool with this. So I'm gonna go into Incineroar here. I'm just going to fake out the Ursaluna and then kind of go from there, right? I like that play. I like that play, because I also get off an Intimidate. So Fake Out, going to go into the Ursaluna slot, and from here, we're just trying to wake up, right? We're really just trying to wake up. And I'm going to try to take out this Amoogus, because I believe, even though it's not very effective, we should still be able to take out Amoogus if we land a plus 5 defense body press. We'll see. So Fake Out's going to come into the Ursaluna slot, do a little bit of damage, chances are we're still asleep, right? Yeah, and they're just going to pile puff up here. Super annoying. Super annoying. We don't like this one bit. We don't like it one bit. I do end up waking up, which is massive. Can we KO with this? We don't, which is ugly. We don't, which is ugly. So they're just going to put me right back to sleep. They're putting me right back to sleep, which is so annoying. So they're going to put me back to sleep. Um, And they're going to pick up a double KO. We already know what's happening here. We already know what's happening here. I'm gonna save my I'm gonna save my Incineroar. I'm gonna swap an uh Incineroar or uh Urshifu here and uh, I should just KO the Ursaluna. We're going right back to sleep. I should just KO the Ursaluna. This sucks, man. This sucks. I should just KO the Ursaluna. If I KO'd Ursaluna there, it would have been massive. But now I'm gonna swap back in Urshifu, trying to make something happen. And there it is again. I'm getting spored again. I get spored so much. A bit too much in this game. A bit too much. And from here, he's going to end up Swords Dancing, which is okay. It's okay. Now he's plus one on attack. Looking rather annoying, but Trick Room's gone. Trick Room's gone, which is massive. It's massive. And now from here, I can just go for Surgeon Strikes. Probably my best bet, right? They go for Rage Powder, they go for Rage Powder. I could end up detecting, but I'm just going to go Surgeon Strikes, and I'm going to look to Body Press this Ursaluna. I'm doubling down into Ursaluna. I doubt it protects, right? Yeah, more so of a Rage Powder play. So Rage Powder now flies out here. Urshfu is going to go first, and Urshfu is just going to take out the Amoongus. So Amoongus finally gone. We finally get rid of somebody on their squad. And we're really hoping my Arch Ludon wakes up again. Can you wake up, buddy? Big time wake up? Big time wake up, big time body press? Come on, I need it. Nope. And now they're probably going to pick up a double KO. Maybe? Maybe not. We'll see. ZQ's coming out here. No, just a facade. The facade comes out here, and my boy soaks up. Now I'm plus six on defense. I'm plus six. That's massive. That's massive. And we got some speed cooking. And we got some speed. So I'm really curious to see who they end up going into, right? Maybe back into Frigoraph? 
Yes, they go back into Frigriff. And from here, Surgeon Strike is still going to be our play here. So I'm going to Surgeon Strike this slot. Look at the KO. Because if he protects, he protects. And I think we just sick with the body presses over here. Wait, you're plus six? Yeah, you're plus six, man. Plus six on the fence. We love it. So I'm going to hope that I wake up here. I'm just going to stick with the body press over onto this slot. They might end up Terrasalizing Ursaluna, but they don't. So Ursaluna is going to die out here. That's a big time KO. So Ursaluna gone. We still have Incineroar. We still have Urshifu at full HP. We're loving that so much. They could go into a fairy move, but I'm really hoping my Arch Luna wakes up here. Can you wake up? Drop a nice little body press. We would love you. We would love you. There you go. There you go. So the Spore's not working on him. Body press coming in hot, doing big time damage. And they end up popping trick. So I can't go for first turn priority, but I still really like where we're sitting. Here. I still really like where we're sitting. Here. They're going to throw out their final Pokemon. And who's it going to be? We haven't seen it yet. It's going to be this Golem. It's going to be this Golem. Now this Golem looking terrifying. I could actually just detect here. And kind of go from there, which would, might be my best play. Because they could just explode. They could go for an explosion, which would be terrifying. I'm just going to go for a body press into this. But they're going to terrasalize. I'm hoping they explode. That's kind of why I protect it. They're going to terrasalize and go straight electric. I'm curious to see. Are you exploding here? They get off another trick. God dang, another trick comes out of here. I'm just going to detect. I say, yo, let's slow things down here. Let's just see what they're going to do here. Goes for a double edge. And normal moves become electric for him, which is crazy. Normal moves are now electric. Dazzling Gleam's going to fly out here. That's going to pick up a KO on Arch Ludon, no problem. Arch Ludon definitely dead to this. I would have been super surprised if it soaked somehow. But now I get to bring out my Intimidate Creature. Now I can Intimidate. Um, double edge, he would take mean recoil damage. I have this. He probably has a rock move as well. This, this Golem looking scary. I can't fake out right now. It's real ugly. It's real ugly. But I could maybe... I should just attack here. I'm gonna go for Surgeon Strikes and just go for a knockoff in this slot. They're probably sticking with Double Edge. He is minus one on attack now, which is pretty good. But I still don't see us surviving a Double Edge that turns electric. Right? I don't see us surviving this at all. Correct? Did we die out of this? Yeah, all day. So how much recoil damage are you taking? That's the real question. How much recoil damage are you taking here? Actually, not as much as I thought you would. That's some gleams gonna fly here. I soak pretty well, and knockoff is gonna come across the board and finish you off. So now we're sitting in a weird position. Do you have a rock? Move? You could, most likely do. Maybe not. You could explode as well. You could definitely explode. This is where things get scary. This is where things get real scary. Um, I'd rather just go for a knockoff here. So how many turns are left in this trick? Two. Two turns left in this trick. Getting up. I'm just going to go for a knockoff here. Let's see what he ends up doing here. Rock slides. Okay, do not make me flinch. Do not make me flinch. I flinch. I always flinch. I always flinch. So, I don't hope we can eat up another one, but I don't even think we can. That hurts his soul. But what a close first match. You're going for another rock slide, and you're connecting them, no problem. Yep, that's the game. A rolling golem clutching up late game. Not a bad match, but hey, we end up losing this one. Ambipom, get the showcase a little bit, but hey, let's go grab ourselves the first win in our second match. Second match on its way, looking for our first victory, going up against a Walking Weight team. Now, Walking Weight can pair up with Wimscott on their team to pop Sunny Day and really get after it. They also have Protosynthesis Fluttermane, thrives out in the sun. Their final three Pokemon are going to be Incineroar, Rillaboom, two fake out users, two very strong Pokemon, and Annihilate. Now, Annihilate, a little bit of a problem, but who should I go into from here? I could go into my fake out user, which is not bad, and maybe start bulking up my defense again. Maybe just go Archaludon alongside with the monkey. That's something I kind of like. That's something I actually really like. So I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to bring Tornadus for late game support for rain. And last but not least, Urshfu. Makes the most sense. So that's what I'm rocking out with. They got their weather control. I got to bring my weather control. And still, I want to showcase Ambipom a little bit more. I want to go for another beat up. I want to get that big time defense boost. Considering they have a decent amount of physical attackers. And on top of that, our Archer Luna has a great terror type for their Pokemon. So I like it. I dig it a lot. Let's see who they end up leading. Probably Incineroar, right? No, Wimscott and Annihilation come out here. So this might be a beat-up combo for beat-up combo. 
This is something I don't mind. And you know what? I'm going to start bulking my Arch Ludon's defense right now instead of faking it. So I'm going to do that. And on top of that, do I Terrastalize? Most likely, right? Yeah, I'm going to Terrastalize and just start flash canning this thing. Actually, you might protect the one, Scott. You might protect the one, Scott. So it might be in our best interest to just Terrastalize and go into a flash cannon. Yeah, I'm gonna boost my defense right here, right now. I'm gonna start boosting my body press defense. I'm gonna go from there. I don't really want to take a drain punch. They could be going for a bulk up. They have a lot of different options. But I feel like with my Urshifu late game, I can deal with that annihilate. So I might just want to start targeting down this right side and then go from there, right? We'll see. So Wimpscott is just gonna pop a Tailwind. Turn. So Tailwind comes out here for Speak Soul. Super surprising. I could just fake that thing out and KO'd it. And he's gonna drain punch me, which is totally fine. I got Focus Ash. We could really get after it that way. Wow, so I could have just did the fake out takeout option. Flash cannon, fake out. Could have worked really well. Instead, I go for the beat up. I thought they were gonna protect turn one. And they end up not. But that's fine. That's fine. They don't really get off too much value. They get off Tailwind. Nothing crazy. I'm bulking my defense. My defense is out and about. So defense, really, really big right now. I could go for Helping Hand here. I could let Amy Palm die out. That might be my play. Wait, depending on who they go into or what they do here. Flash Hand's going to fly here. Do a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy into an eye leap. And we'll go from there. It's just going to get some leftovers. Okay. You know what's bad? Not bad. And I think from here, we're just going to Helping Hand. I'm just going to Flash Cannon you down. Probably bring out your Focus Ash. If I had to guess, most likely they would go for like, I don't know, bulk up here. And like a, maybe a Dazzle Gleam to finish off the Ambipom. No, he's just going to beat up as well. So he's looking to just Rage Fist me down. I'm plus four on defense, so this is something I actually really like. They're going to leave my Ambipom out here for a little bit longer, which is good. Actually, really good. Rage Fist going to fly through here. How much damage is this really doing? I'm plus four on defense. That's a, that's a, that's a bit much, but now I'm plus five on defense, which is good. Flash Cannon gonna fly here. Gonna bring you down to Sash. No, just finish you off. So we get rid of the Whimsicott. So Annihilate looking rather annoying. I might just Helping Hand again and go for another Flash Cannon. That might have to be my play. We'll see, but we're in a nice typing right here where they can't really do anything crazy with Drain Punch, right? Because if we were regular Archer Lulon, they could just take me out in one shot, get rid of me with Drain Punch, and just get after it that way. But since we are not, they don't really get a lot of HP recovery. But Incineroar is going to fly out here, which is totally fine. And I could swap Ambipom now. I could definitely swap Ambipom now. Might be my play. Into Tornadus and just take Weather Control. And save Fake Out for later. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to go for a body press into this yeah because we don't have any we don't have any protects or anything so i'm gonna swap the ambipom i'm gonna save the fake out for later could definitely come up clutch and we're gonna bring out tornado so we're gonna set the rain after this try to get weather control for my pokemon kind of go from there so he ends up bulking up totally fine who are you faking out here you fake you are you even faking out anybody what are you doing here i'm just gonna go for a parting shot which is totally fine my special attacks or my attacks pretty much based on my defense or defense right now so that's no big deal i get to bring out you and we get to see their final pokemon on top of that so i definitely want to set the rain i might set up a tailwind first and foremost but they're gonna go in the roll boom do i have cover cloak i really hope i have cover cloak i really hope i have the cover cloak if not i gotta protect you my body press gonna fly in this slot and just get rid of roll boom with a crit so arch loot out ripping here Arch Ludon's ripping. I'm really not too worried about that Annihilate right now. Considering, again, I have Urshu in the back end. And if I can set Rain and just get some sort of speed control, I can take out Annihilate pretty much whenever I want. So they're going to bring back out Incineroar. I'm really hoping we have the Covert Cloak. And I don't remember checking this thing's item. It should be the Covert Cloak, right? If it's Covert Cloak, we get to set up right here pretty well. And something I like. Definitely something I like. So they're just going to drop my attack again. We do have the Curver Cloak, which is so perfect. And from here, do I set up a Tailwind first, or do I set up a Rain Dance? I feel like we set up this Rain Dance more than a Tailwind, right? Because their Tailwind's going to end next turn. And my Urshu should be able to outspeed them regardless of Tailwind. Yeah, 163. So I'm just going to go for this lovely little Rain Dance. 
get this popping, and just go for a body press into the Incineroar slot. Right into the Incineroar slot, who they're probably going to Terrasize, right? Is that Incineroar or Annihilate? It's going to be the Incineroar. So Incineroar is going to Terrasize in a straight water. Body press can still chunk up some nice damage onto that, which I love. And we'll go from there, because we still have Ami Palm with Fake Out. And they're going to end up going for the Fake Out into Tornadus, which is massive, because I got the Covert. You're not stopping me, man. You're not stopping the Covert Cloak action. You're not flinching me. He's going to go for Rage Fist, and he's just going to finish off Tornadus. Totally fine. Unless I can soak this. No, I don't soak it. That's totally fine. That's totally fine, because now your Tailwind's up. Now I get off a big time body press into you. Love the damage. And on top of this, I can now bring out the boy. The Urshifu. Or I could bring out Ambipom if I wanted to. I could definitely bring out Ambipom and just make this a 2v1 situation. That is something I could do. Because I could fake out Incineroar first and foremost and then just body press into that. And that might be my play beforehand. Just get rid of the Incineroar and make this a 2v1. Yeah, I kind of like that because their Tailwind's gone. Might as well bring out the Ambipom. Might as well bring out Ambipom. Might as well. We might as well. Let's do that. Let's just go for a fake out here. And then just go for a nice lovely body press into this slot. And just get after it. Just get rid of this incident. Use an Ambipom a bit. So yeah, I could have went into Urshfu here, but I'd rather have Urshfu. Just versing that an island one on one, right? But fake out does a nice chunk of damage with that technician. And this guy is just gonna bulk up here. So he's just gonna bulk up. Um try to get that attack boost, and body press is gonna fly. Here. So I get rid of you. Cool. So we'll say bye bye to you. I think I'm just gonna start boosting my special attack with Electro Shot while we're in the rain. And maybe just keep helping handy this, right? I don't wanna go for a beat up into that. Kinda hoping they just start taking out my enemy palm. I feel like our biggest threat would be if they waste out these rain turns, right? That would definitely be our biggest threat. But we should have three left. We should have three left. Yeah, three turns left in rain. Should be plenty. We're just going to go for a helping hand. I'm going to go for an electro shot here. And then maybe next turn I might go for a Draco Meteor. We'll see. Because we are minus one on special attack. They did parting shot us earlier with the Incineroar. Okay, I see you. I understand. But now helping hand comes out here. Ambipom's actually doing really well in this this battle right here. And Drain Punch is gonna fly. So he's just gonna get it rid of Ambipom. And this works perfectly. My plan works perfectly. It works too perfectly. Get off the helping hand. I get off the lecture shot. I'm gonna be back normal on special attack after this. So we're gonna be able to chuck up a little bit of damage. And Surgeon Strike should be able to come out here in rain and just finish this thing off no problem. All your defense boosts do not matter because I'm critting no problem. Plus, well, that Electro Shot actually did a good chunk of damage. So, what a first match. Well, not a first match. What a second match. We ended up losing our first match. Came actually really close. We just allowed them to pop too many Trick Rooms. I should have probably targeted down the Ferrigarath with my Urshfu that battle. Instead of taking out the uh, Ursa Luna. Because I could have just... Well, I didn't know my uh, Arch Ludon was going to wake up. Because Body Press would have KO'd that. But from here... Let's just focus on this match. Surgeon Strike's coming out here. We're going to drop another Electro Shot. Actually, probably just a Draco Meteor, more so than anything. And Surgeon Strike should finish this off. Yeah, all day. All day. So, solid second match. Ambi Palm actually putting in a lot of work. And then we get that weather control. And we take match number two, no problem. We're here in match number three. And we're actually playing super well with Ambi Palm. Love using this Pokemon. Love using off meta Pokemon in regulation app but we're going up against a raging bolt squad with okie dogie fluttermane landorus and incineroar okapon so honestly the monkey's going to be pretty good here again i love triple axel going into that uh that lander slot so that might be pretty good for us that's kind of something i would have lead would be archaludon and amipom yet again so i'm going to go into both of them um another pokemon that i think is going to be pretty solid for us is going to be urshifu but we just have to watch out for water absorb okapon always tough for us always tough and then last but not least we could go into incineroar we could go into tornadas or we could go sinistra but i don't really like sinistra here to be honest not gonna lie to you guys not gonna lie don't really like sinistra here i kind of do like incineroar but tornadas could be solid as well especially late game tailwinds we could set up the rain dance as well i'm gonna go into that i'm gonna go into tornadas tornadas here so looking to go two and one for today's video I think we went one and two in our past two videos, but we're having fun still. We're using some cool off-meta Pokemon. So losing with off-meta Pokemon, 
it's still a win, I feel like, right? We're using some fun off meta Pokemon. You can't really go wrong with that. But they're going to end up leading Incineroar and Okie Doki. So Incineroar and Okie Doki come out here. I can actually fake him out before he fakes me out. That's not bad. Um, Okie Doki's looking a little scary. I could go Poison Terra. Or not Poison Terra, Fairy Terra. And that might be my play here. To just do this. And to be honest, maybe just fake out you. I'm going to fake out the Okie Doki here. I don't want Okie Doki setting up like a bulk up or something like that. So I'm just going to... Uh, I shouldn't have Terrastalized just yet though, at, in this case. I should have saved if I was faking out the Okie Doki, but I'm still just going to Terrastalize. Kind of deal with all this. Kind of get after it. So Terrastalize in the Fairy. This Terror type is just so good. And then from here, I can just drop myself, nice fake out into you. And what are you doing, Incineroar? You're staying in here. You're just taking that body press. Lovely. Parting shot. You're going to party shot into the slot. That's that's fine. That's fine. I'm really just trying to bulk up my defense here. Okay. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I do not mind. Um, I'm just going to go for a beat up next turn with Ami Palm. And actually, depending on who they go out into. Let's see. It's going to be the bolt. Reaching bolt comes out here. And yeah, I'm just going to beat up body press this, right? I'm cool with that. I saw my focus ash. I like that. So we're going to beat up out here. Bulk or defense up to plus four. We're not playing around. Stamina boosting. Stamina boosting. Good thing Okie Doki is a special or a physical attacker as well. So just defense boost. We'll get put to good work. And it does show that my Amipom outspeeds everybody, so I could go for maybe like a triple axle next turn. Something along those lines. Okay, cool. Dream Punch gonna fly here. We're gonna sash up. We got our Focus Ash. We love it. We got our Focus Ash, and I would think like a Thunderbolt would be coming out from the Raging Bolt. So he's gonna get all of his HP back with that Drain Punch, no problem. Body Press gonna fly here. Do some big time damage onto Raging Bolt. He's going to calm my boost, and I should be able to take it out no problem with another body press. So, I'm going to go for body press here. Um, do I boost my defense to plus four? I might as well, right? They could protect the bolt. They could protect the bolt here. And I think they might. They might protect the bolt. You know, I'm going to go body press into Ogie Dogi. And I'm just going to boost my... I could go helping hand, but I, I'd rather boost my defense to plus, plus six here. That's something I'm going to do. I'm just going to boost it to plus 6. Because I know the Okie Doki shot is going to be not very effective. So I'm going to get off as much damage as I can. Easy read on that protect. No problem. I'm boosting this defense up to 6 now. So I don't know if they leave, leave Ambipom on the field here. But I kind of want them to take him out. Because Ambipom got off all of its value. It boosted this Pokemon already. I would love to get off a Triple Axel again. I feel like Triple Axel can do some nice damage. Especially with Technician. So if they don't take out Ambipom, that's probably what I'm going to do. Poison Jab flies through here, and they do take out Ambipom. That's no problem. Like I said, I kind of wanted that to happen. So Ambipom gets dropped out here. We go for a body pressing to Ogie Dogie, and we do a little bit of damage. So now, from here, we already know we can outspeed both of them, right? I could go into Tornadus, I could go into you. Now, I feel like with Tornadus, we could just go into, like, a Tailwind here, or even a Rain Dance. I'm going to go into Tornadus, because something I have to worry about is going to be Thunderclap, but if I'm not going for a move that's not going to KO me, or that's not going to attack, Body Press is going to be fine. So, I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to pop a Tailwind here. Tailwind's definitely my best option. So, we go with the Tailwind boost. We're just going to take full speed control here. We're going to allow Body Press to take out the Raging Bolt, and he's just going to go for a Thunderclap, which actually does a decent amount of damage. But not enough. Body press says bye bye to you. Get on out of here. So I got you gone. I can still set up a rain dance for my late game Urshifu. And Okie Dokie's gonna go for a poison jab, which we laugh at. Super effective for about negative five damage. But you get the poison, which kind of upsets me. Really? A poison? Really? So now the real question is do I set up the rain dance? Or do I attack? Because Okie Dokie's a tad bit of a threat, right? Definitely a bit of a threat. They're going to go into you. Um, they can't fake out my Tornadus. I think at this point, we should just drop a... Uh, 
I think at this point we should just drop a what's it called? A bleak wind storm. Just look to get off as much damage as we can. They're probably gonna fake out their arch slowdown and try to double down with poison jab to KO. Cause fake out damage plus poison jab damage plus poison damage might be enough to do what is it, 59? I don't know, that's four damage. That's four damage. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly. Doing some nice damage all around. And I'm hoping I get off one more turn with Arch Ludon. That'd be massive. One more turn with Arch Ludon, we would love. We would love one more turn with Arch Ludon. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. He's gonna, he's just gonna go for a Snarl. Okay, so we do get off one more turn. We do get off one more turn. That's a big mistake. One more turn for Arch Ludon. Cool. I'll take it all day. So I'm gonna be able to body press here. Um, should be able to finish off you, but the real question is, do you have Fluttermane in the back end? Most likely, but in that case, Bleak Wind Storm is still going to be a good move. So I'm going to go Bleak Wind Storm here. They're going to end up staying in here, and who dodges that? Both of them dodge this? Come on, man. That ain't right. That ain't cool. Body Press going to finish off the Incineroar. That ain't, that ain't cool, though. I'm missing a double Bleak Wind Storm. Ah, that hurts so. You going for another Snarl? No, you're just going to drop an Ice Punch, which we soak. So you're giving my Arch Luna another turn? Another turn! No shot. Unless you got Flutter Me. But still, I might be able to outspeed. It's going to be Ogre Pod. You give me another turn. You could Spiky Shield here. You could definitely Spiky Shield. Now, did you use Terra yet? No. You didn't use Terra. So I'm just going to do this. And Rain Dance isn't going to do anything. I'm just going to pop Bleak and Storm. The Spiky Shield comes out here. We're finishing off this uh, Okie Dogie. And we'll kind of go from there. So we don't want to set up a Rain Dance. Good thing we didn't set up a Rain Dance because that would only help out the Ogre. The Bleak Wind Storm is going to fly here. We know they're going to... Uh... Oh, they might win this. They might win this one, no problem, to be honest. Because what I'm thinking happens here, well, we're going to die at the Spiky Shield. We would die out of the poison anyway. But what I think is going to happen is they're going to terrestrialize, put their mask on, get that special defense boost, and then be able to just like horn leech my version. It's a little bit of a problem. This is a little bit of a problem. I could detect turn one. Just to try to get some value out of the shot. And that might be my best bet, would be just to detect the shot. And just go for a bleak wind storm. Yeah, well, we know he's gonna put the mask on. We already we already know. He needs to take away his weaknesses. If not, I'll, I'll be really happy. They they don't don't put the mask on. So I detect here. We're hoping the horn leech is actually attacking me, and it is. So the horn leech attacks me. This is big if we can just land a shot. Can we land this, please? We do. That's that's huge. You just we just won the game off that. I think they had a real good shot at win this match. It would have been really close, right? They didn't use Terra. No, yeah. Terrasalizing would have got rid of their flying weakness. And on top of that, give them a special defense boost, making that move probably do less than half. And then from there, he could have just horn leech next turn. He All we, he would have to do was survive a close combat, but I don't know. It would have came down to that. It would have came down to that, but that's going to be the match. 2-1 for today's video, rocking out with Ambi Palm. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, Ambipom in ranked regulation F. Absolutely love this build, pairing it up with Arch Ludon in all three battles. You were able to fake out, do actually a decent amount of damage with fake out because it was stab and it had technician boost. And then on top of that, you got beat up to boost that Arch Ludon's defense, no problem, and helping hand to help get a nice little damage boost on ally Pokemon. But yeah, 2 and 1, cannot go wrong with a winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.